Hold on to your seats, folks, because today we're diving into an automotive showdown that has left the world stunned. Picture this, China's very own BYD, once the subject of Elon Musk's skepticism, has pulled off an automotive coup by surpassing the mighty Tesla in electric vehicle production. It's a plot twist worthy of a Hollywood blockbuster, and we've got the front row ticket to this electrifying spectacle. From its humble beginnings crafting phone batteries to becoming the world's top-selling electric car maker, this is the riveting tale of how BYD rewrote the rules and raced past Tesla to claim the crown in the electrifying saga of automotive supremacy. And hey, if you're enjoying this electric electrifying journey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more automotive tales that defy the odds. Let's rev up this story and celebrate the triumph of BYD in the race for electric dominance. Elon Musk's dismissal of BYD in 2011 during a Bloomberg interview set the stage for a remarkable turn of events in the electric vehicle industry. Musk, at the time, laughed at BYD's products, expressing doubts about their attractiveness and technological strength. He also noted the challenges BYD faced in its home turf of China. However, the Chinese automaker not only survived, but against the odds, dethroned Tesla as the top EV maker in the fourth quarter. This narrative delves into BYD's journey from its inception as a phone battery manufacturer to becoming a global EV giant, exploring the strategic decisions, diversification efforts, and substantial government support that contributed to its success. Founded in 1995 by chemist Wang Chuan Fu, BYD, an acronym for Build Your Dreams, had humble beginnings in the southern Chinese city of Shenzhen. Wang, with 20 employees and 2.5 million Chinese yuan in capital, initially focused on manufacturing lithium-ion batteries. This venture coincided with the rise of mobile phones, and BYD soon became a supplier to major players like Motorola and Nokia. The year 2002 marked a significant milestone as BYD went public, listing on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. However, the company's transformation from a battery supplier to an electric vehicle giant took a more concrete shape in the following years. In 2003, BYD made a strategic move by acquiring a small automobile maker named Jian Kinchuan. This acquisition laid the foundation for BYD's entry into the automotive sector. Two years later, in 2005, BYD launched its first car, the F3, a combustion model that marked its initial foray into the automotive market. The turning point came in 2008, when Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway made a substantial $230 million investment into BYD. This financial injection provided the impetus for BYD to intensify its efforts in the electric vehicle space. The company continued to push into the EV market, culminating in the launch of the F3DM in 2008, an early exploration into plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. As BYD delved deeper into the EV space, its history as a battery manufacturer played a pivotal role. In 2020, the company introduced the Blade battery, a lithium iron phosphate battery that defied prevailing industry trends. At the time, many battery makers were moving away from LFP batteries due to concerns about poor energy density. However, BYD's Blade battery proved to be a breakthrough, offering good energy density and high levels of safety. However, BYD's Blade battery proved to be a breakthrough, offering good energy density and high levels of safety. The Blade battery found its way into BYD's Han, a sporty sedan positioned as a rival to Tesla's Model S. Beyond this, BYD incorporated the Blade battery into subsequent models, showcasing the company's commitment to innovative battery technology. Unlike some of its counterparts, BYD did not make an immediate leap into pure electric vehicles. The company strategically sold hybrid cars, a decision that proved instrumental in its early success. In the nascent stages of the Chinese EV market, BYD simultaneously launched battery electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. This dual strategy allowed BYD to navigate a market where charging infrastructure was still underdeveloped and consumers were not entirely clear about the advantages of EVs. Alvin Liu, an analyst at Canalis, emphasized the importance of BYD's positioning in the mid-range market. This strategy helped the company carve out a niche where competition was less intense. 
BYD's success in branding, including the creation of sub-brands like Denza for mid to high-end electric vehicles, further strengthened its market presence. Having dominated China's EV market, BYD set its sights on global expansion. The company began selling cars in various countries, from the United Arab Emirates to Thailand and the UK. In Southeast Asia, BYD achieved a remarkable 43% market share in electric vehicles. The company's international expansion wasn't limited to sales, it extended to manufacturing and materials. In December, BYD announced plans to open its first European manufacturing plant in Hungary, signaling its commitment to the global market. The company also expressed interest in acquiring lithium mining assets from Brazil, recognizing the strategic importance of securing essential materials for its batteries. However, global expansion comes with its set of challenges. BYD faces scrutiny from governments concerned about subsidies received by Chinese car makers. In September, the European Commission initiated an anti-subsidy investigation into Chinese electric vehicle imports. Simultaneously, the US is taking measures to bolster its domestic EV sector with the Inflation Reduction Act aimed at countering Chinese competitors. The competition between BYD and Tesla, the world's two biggest EV makers, is a focal point of the industry's narrative. BYD's growth trajectory indicates that it hasn't reached its maximum potential, according to industry experts. Tu Li from Sino Auto Insights draws parallels between BYD's journey and Tesla's early days when many in the automotive industry didn't take the latter seriously. While Tesla faces stiffer competition in 2024, particularly from Chinese competitors launching more models and traditional automakers entering the EV race, BYD is viewed as a strong contender for faster growth. Daniel Roska, senior research analyst at Bernstein Research, highlights BYD's aggressive approach to global expansion, especially in Europe and other overseas markets. Elon Musk, in acknowledging BYD's competitiveness, commented, their cars are highly competitive these days. This acknowledgement underscores the evolving landscape of the EV market, where traditional perceptions and market dynamics are continuously challenged. The success story of BYD unveils the intricacies of the EV market, where factors such as strategic decisions, government support, diversified business operations, and innovative technologies converge. The industry is at a critical juncture, with BYD and Tesla leading the charge. As BYD aims to sell approximately 800,000 cars annually in Europe by 2030, and Tesla recalibrates its strategy, the battle for supremacy continues. The EV market is not only about producing cutting-edge vehicles, but also about securing resources, navigating geopolitical challenges, and addressing concerns about subsidies. BYD's ability to manufacture electric electric vehicle batteries in-house gives it a unique advantage over its competitors. In contrast, Tesla, reliant on multiple suppliers, faces challenges related to the supply chain, including potential shortages of critical materials like lithium. Susanna Streeter, head of money and markets at Hargraves Lansdowne, emphasizes the significance of BYD's move to secure lithium resources. The company's investments in a Chinese lithium producer and exploration of assets in South America position it strategically amid concerns about the future availability of key battery components. The emergence of China through BYD as the top-selling electric vehicle producer holds geopolitical implications, particularly in the context of U.S.-China relations. As the U.S. gears up for a presidential election year, tensions between the two economic giants, especially around trade, are likely to take center stage. The Biden administration's recent protectionist measures blocking subsidies to EV companies with significant Chinese links exemplify the growing scrutiny on Chinese influence in critical sectors like electric vehicles. The U.S. government is exploring avenues to strengthen its own clean energy sector, including the imposition of tariffs 
on Chinese goods, particularly electric vehicles. Beyond the EV sector, the US is flexing its geopolitical muscles in areas like semiconductor manufacturing. The pressure exerted on the Dutch government to block shipments of high-tech chip-making machinery to China showcases the broader geopolitical landscape. As the US seeks to maintain its technological edge, especially in industries vital for national security, tensions with China are likely to reverberate across various sectors. BYD's ascent to the top of the electric vehicle market is emblematic of the dynamic and complex landscape of the industry. From its origins as a battery supplier to becoming a global powerhouse, BYD's journey is a testament to strategic vision, government support, and adaptability. As we wrap up this incredible journey through the lanes of automotive history, one thing is crystal clear. BYD has emerged as a formidable force, steering its way to the top and overtaking the titan, Tesla. The underdog narrative turned success story is something to marvel at, and we hope you've enjoyed every twist and turn in this electrifying saga. If you've been as captivated as we have, don't forget to show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more jaw-dropping auto tales, and ring that notification bell to never miss a thrilling chapter. Until next time, keep those engines roaring, and remember, the road to success is always charged up.